Will we ascend our consciousness or will we revert back to the dark ages? There are 8 billion of us on the planet that now have unprecedented levels of technology and ability to communicate with each other. Will we leverage that technology to increase our consciousness? Or will we use that technology to destroy each other? We are going to have to learn how to live in a civilized way with these melting pots of culture across the world. The technology that we now have can help us raise our consciousness faster than ever. We have to step up and take leadership roles in this ascension of consciousness, in the healing of ourselves and the healing of each other. And this healing is no more about the old technologies of healing, the ones that enable profiteering off of industries like the healthcare industry, but rather ones that are of a completely new era and essence. Look at your timelines. Look at your ancestors. Look at who brought you into this world and the circumstances that they had persevered through in order to do so. How big of a synchronicity, of a gift, is it that they went through the challenges that they went through in order to get you into these exact circumstances that you have now? And how can you maximize unleashing that gift that they worked so hard to bring you into so that you could unlock it and unleash it into the world at its maximum potential? The universe has specifically brought us to this point, this pinnacle point of challenge to see if we will have the ability to persevere through this complex climactic point or if we will revert back to the dark ages and have to try again. Become a teacher of higher consciousness. Become a teacher of unity, of oneness. Think of yourselves as doctors of peace. Healing ourselves, healing each other. And catalyzing peace and harmony with each other, with nature Passing judgment and passing prejudice does not lead us towards love, peace, and harmony. We are being pushed to this question. Are we ready to ascend to new levels of consciousness? Or will we revert back to the dark ages and need to start again? And we're not being told how to do this. This is the ultimate adventure of our collective consciousness to see if we can persevere through this most difficult of challenges. This point of higher consciousness, there's no conflict. There's only love. There's true peace and harmony. We came to planet Earth. We fell from grace in order to achieve this 
greatest challenge. Planet Earth has duality. This is one of the only ways that humans can learn when we get so miserable that we have to change our lives. We set up situations to learn and then we choose to grow up and deal with it or run away from it. When will I find peace and harmony? When you're buried in the ground. You came to this planet to live through this dichotomy, to experience the resistance, the duality, the angst and the challenge and rise to the occasion of solving some of our greatest civilizational challenges. This is a big Petri dish. There are different paint strokes being made, different notes being played in the symphony, the strokes on the canvas, and you get to choose what contribution you make of bringing forth your own gifts. Get things done that challenge you rise to the highest consciousness on this soul journey of yours we are fractals of god coming here to learn to create to experience the illusion of separation from that unity to launch ourselves into these bodies and learn more and then bring it back to that central source We are all being watched. Can we ascend our consciousness or will we revert back to the dark ages? Planet Earth is a hologram, not a reality. We create relativity and reality by our level of consciousness. So we can say this is my reality, but it's not a truth. Even gravity is a relative truth. It's universal to us on this planet. Or the molecular composition of water being relative to us on this planet. Just like your truth is relative to you and to your consciousness. So there is no one truth. There are 8 billion truths. And we can still learn to love and live together through that. Is potentially source, central source, a single truth? How do we convince people that acts of violence don't serve us? So if their truth is to commit that act of violence, how do we convince them that that doesn't serve the planet? Does the soul of the spirit come here to learn these lessons? How much do our parents need to back off and let the child experience their own truths relative to their consciousness? Source making this universe as a hologram in this all being an illusion, it not being the oneness, the soul or the spirit, the thing that separates us from the oneness. But what is the purpose of that soul or spirit then? It is so that it can come For this unique adventure of learning. And then bring that information back to the central oneness. There are no words, English, Hindi, Mandarin, no words that can describe oneness. That can describe unity. So one of my challenges is how do I create the words and the story to bring us closer together to that central source? To help us become a pinnacle civilization where we're all unleashing our unique gifts in harmony with nature. So how can we retain as much signal as possible from our communion with the central source and then distribute that, disseminate those stories and those words to other people to get them inspired to commune with their own journeys with source and unlock their own gifts into the world? 
How can we heal? How can we get through this wisdom race as effectively as possible? Those are the main pillars of my ethos. And I hope for those that are watching, for you to know that about our channel and what we aim to do as simulation. This is it right here. So join us in this adventure. Go and commune more deeply with the divine yourselves and unleash your gifts more into the world. Have more conversations with your friends, your families, coworkers, and people online about these topics. And support us so we can keep doing this work. You can find all of our links in the bio below to our Patreon, our cryptocurrency, our PayPal links are below. You can design cool merch and get paid. Support the artists, the entrepreneurs, the spiritual leaders, and the organizations in your communities. And go and build the future, everyone. Manifest your dreams into the world. We got this. Let's ascend consciousness versus going back to the dark ages.